What's going on everyone? My name is Joseph Polito and today I'm going to show you guys how to do a quick and easy science experiment at home using Skittles. With Halloween coming up, I'm sure you guys are going to have a ton of excess candy, so why not do some science with it? What you're going to need is a pack of Skittles, it doesn't matter what flavor, a plate, preferably white, you can see the colors better with white, and some hot water. I'm wearing gloves because it's gonna get kind of sticky and I don't want my hands to get messy. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to open up your pack of Skittles and it doesn't matter which way you organize them, what colors, as long as it looks pretty. And I'm back with my hot water. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to pour this water into the center. If you start pouring it from the side, it's gonna create a motion in the water and all of your colors aren't gonna bleed evenly. I would like them all to pull towards the center, so that's where I'm going to slowly pour the warm water. As I'm doing this, you're going to immediately notice that the colors begin to dissolve in the hot water. Skittles are coated with a water-soluble sugar. Once it interacts with the warm water, it'll all start to melt. It dissolves. And all the colors are gonna meet in the center. What's most interesting is what happens when you turn the Skittles over. So after they've sat in the water for a couple minutes and all the colors have bled out, turn your Skittles over. All of the color coating has completely dissolved from the bottom of the Skittles, revealing their white center. You can repeat this experiment multiple times using different colors and different patterns. I'm back with a fresh new plate. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take what Skittles we have left over and we're gonna create a different pattern and see what happens when we add the warm water to that. So I'm gonna create clusters of color now instead of a pattern in a circular motion. So just tiny groups of the same color scattered throughout the plate. So I'm gonna put all the reds together all of the purples together, all of the yellows together, all of the oranges together, and all of the greens together. Ten seconds now, you can already see the colors start to bleed out. The colors don't seem to be running everywhere, they're staying in groups. You can really see distinct lines between the two colors. The greens and the purples are mixing right here, but there's a distinct line separating them, as well as the rest of the colors. I hope you all enjoyed the science experiment. I encourage you to try it for yourself. Don't forget to stay subscribed for future science experiments. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.